Hi, Amy. Hi. Hi, David. Hi, guys. Hi, David. You all right? Yeah. Back again. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. Good stuff. Um, just give it 30 seconds and see if anyone else jumps on. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, has any well been sent round, Mr. Paul Carter, or not? Do we know? I, I thought it had, yeah. I thought I was. Let me have a look. Let's, um, because I haven't received one. What I mean is in relation to potential Tuesday, Thursdays. But I think oh, we'll no. leave it as it is. No. We'll yeah. leave it as it is. Okay. As yeah. In, and yeah. let Vicky decide. Okay, cool. Let's, let's, let's get started if people, people jump on from here. Um, so hello, hello everyone. How's everyone's week been um, so far uh, since last Thursday, kind of uh, from an exercise activity perspective, Amy? Zero. <laughs> Zero. That's okay. Amy. Uh, <laughs> I, that's why I'm joining you guys. It's my only <laughs> hope. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. What about you, David? Yeah, I sort of moderate. I, I cycle into work, which is sort of five miles. That sort of keeps a general level of fitness, but um, but not really sort of the high intensity squash sort of rapid action. It's, you can get lazy cycling, I think. Okay. Are you not like one of my clients? He says he cycles into work, and, he, and when I actually saw him, he's got one of these electric bikes. So you're actually cycling, are you, it's David? A proper, yeah, you know? it's a proper pedal bike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. And Gillian? Yeah, um, I tried to go running around my neighbourhood. I just came back from a run, actually. But it's nothing too, too intensive, really. Okay. Um, what, what, what Steve and I have put to, together this week, um, and it's sort of with the anticipation, hopefully come the 12th of April, we, we might get back on court, albeit uh, in the sides or whatever they deem we're allowed to do. Um, we're going to do what we call a pyramid. Now, you've done this with me, Gillian, but it's it's like pyramid training. So you're going to do an exercise or a movement for 30, 15 seconds. You're going to repeat it for 30 seconds. You're going to repeat it for 45 seconds. You're going to repeat it for a minute. So you're now at the top of the pyramid, and then you're going to come back down the other side, 45, 30, 15. And that's going to be with Steve's physical exercises, and that's going to be with, with, with some of the movement exercises that we're going to do. Can you, can you think why why we might train um, in this sort of this fashion with pyramid training. Can you think how it, how it relates to the game a little bit for you? Endurance, squash endurance. In, well, there's certainly a lot certainly of endurance and it's very hard. And you're very fortunate tonight that Mr. Thompson actually did it last night and he realized how hard it was. And um, his, he will yeah, actually yeah. increase the rest, rest recovery tonight because he I'm was very, struggling I'm last very, night. So yeah, yeah endurance. Yeah. Recovery, recovery, yeah. recovery, yeah, yeah, that as well. But think about your minute and your forty fives, and think about your fifteens and your thirties. How how does that sort of how does that equate to to the game of squash? I'm guessing. I'm, I'm, I'm generalising. Yeah, length of the run. Yeah, length of the run. Forty-five seconds. Exactly, David. You know, um, and and you could have a, a rally, uh, Amy. You know, where you both of you are just hitting quite high to the back of the court, and it could be five or six shots. You know, you're really tight down the wall. There's not a lot of energy being exerted, and then suddenly that little boast comes in, and it's legs and arms akimbo for three shots. We're flying all over the place, and then suddenly somebody lifts, and we're back in again. So I'm guessing, you know, that your game length, and I'm only generalising here. But I, I would imagine each game that you play is somewhere in the region between five and seven minutes, maybe, ish, possibly, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. So you win three, love, you may be on for 25 minutes. It's a, it's a, it's a three, one and you're 28, 30 minutes and, and a three, two is a 40, 45 minute game. So with what we're trying to do with the, with the pyramid training, and you've done this with me, Gillian, on a Sunday where we do the, the court sprints. Obviously, we're limited in space tonight, but just try and think about it. So when you're doing the, the shorter, sharper stuff, the 15s and the 30s, it's fairly high intensity. And you, you know, do it as quick as you can uh, and the movement as quick as you can within the within the confined space that you've got. And then when you're in your 45s and your minute and your 45s come down the other side, you're still doing the same exercise, but maybe not quite with that intensity. There's a little bit more maybe thought to the movement, a little bit more thought to the technique, maybe a little bit more 
thinking about the technique that Steve shows you with the exercises rather than just all out, you know, explosive stuff. So go with it. It's, it might be different for, for you, Amy and Dave. You might not have done this. Well, Julian, no, you've definitely done this with me a couple of times on a Sunday. Um, but go with it. Yeah, as I say, you're fortunate that Steve's um, done this last night and he, he realised that the night before we didn't give them enough, <laughs> enough recovery. So uh, <laughs> you're, 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 in good, you're in good hands. Everyone got somebody around them, have they? You got a, a, a family member or you're, you're not all on your own, are you? Yeah. Everyone okay, are they? Yeah. I'm good. Good, yeah. Just in case anything happened. Okay, that's fine. That's lovely. All right then, Steve. I think I've probably exhausted the, the chat and we can go straight into your warm-up. Sounds good. Okay, lovely. guys. No prizes for guessing what the first warm-up is. Not at this stage. It's going to be a gentle jog on the spot. That's right. Okay. Are you doing all the exercises tonight, Steve? Um, <clears throat> I think I've got my steps in after that run, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> and some heel flicks, guys. I'm up to 19,000 today. <laughs> and knee raises. Good, and then into some star jumps, nice and light. Good, let's go from there into some, some really light jumping lunges. Really light, just, just changing, so just a little split jump there. Okay, cool, let's stop there. Let's put your hands together. We're gonna rotate one side over to the other. Upper body rotations. One side over to the other. I like the clothesline jumps, by the way, Steve. Yes. Yeah. We didn't have those last night. I might throw them in tonight. No, you've done them the day before, yeah. Mm. Um, still with the hands. I'm going to reach down in between your legs behind you and then lean back up at the top. So side on. So I'm reaching down behind my heels if I can and then reach back and then lean back to stretch out the abs. Bring forwards. And a stretch out behind. Fantastic. Then we're going to go into a gentle jog, guys. Really gentle on the legs. And then just some alternating lunges. Go for a right and then a left into a gentle jog. And then again, right and a left. We'll just do three on each side. Good stuff. All right. Okay, guys. So from there... Um, we're going to go into some footwork, okay? We're just going to do a brief intro uh, to a little bit of our footwork. We'll go to our lateral movement first. So we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. Stay nice and light on the feet, okay? Bring a few alternatives in there, and then we'll go straight into Paul's movement session. One, two, the kids were good one. last night, Steve. One, two, yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. Really good session. Okay, from there, guys, let's go diagonal. So we're going to go diagonal, two, three, back, two, three. Diagonal with the front left, back, two, three. Heel, toe, toe behind you. Heel, toe, toe behind you. In. Let's get that racket prepared. Front left. Okay, when you're ready, just see, see if you can seamlessly then drop it straight into front, right leg with the front, front left. So now we're just seamlessly mixing that up. In. Then see if you can go in with the left. Again, just mixing it up a little bit now. One, two, three, one, two, three, back, two, three, one, two, three. Now I'm going to change. I'm going to go in, back, two, three, in, two, three, back, two, three. Really good. All right, from there, let's mix it up again. Let's say it's going to be brief. So we're going to go right foot, front, right, one, two, three, back, two, three, one, two, three, back, two, three. One, two, three, back, two, three. Two, three, back, two. One, two, three, back, two. One, two, three, back, two, three. One, two, three, back, two, three. One, two, three, back, two. And then change it over with that left leg. Back, two, three. Left leg going in. Back, two, three. If you're doing these little footwork patterns, carts would be up to 20,000 by now. I know, I know. Get a lot, I know. Get a lot, a lot of steps in. in. Yeah. <laughs> mix that up. Mix that up between a little right leg and a left leg approaching that front right corner, guys. 
Just do another 30 seconds. Are you okay to keep yourself on spot to demonstrate the movement, Steve, or do you want me to do that? I'm happy to demonstrate. Okay. A bit more space now than probably. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, and stop there. Over to you, Cots. Okay. Um, so, it, as, I, as I said, it's the pyramid approach for the rest of the session now. So it's 15, 30, 45 minute, 45, 30, 15. That's for the rest of the session, okay? So the first movement pattern I want you to think about is a cross-court drive from the front right. Now, we've done this lots of times before, cross-court drive from the front right. And as you hit, you bring the racket round and you're going to the opposite service box or in the space that you have, and you're going to play a cross-court volley. Back into the front right, cross-court drive. Mr. Thompson will demonstrate. I really want you to move your head as you hit that cross-court. So you're coming in from the tee into the right and let the racket bring you right round and up for the volley. Racket right round and up for the volley, okay? So you're going to go 15 seconds of that, then 30, then 45, and then on the minute, this is where you need to get ready. On the minute, you're going to do 30 seconds of that. And then the second half of the minute is going to be the opposite corner to the opposite volley. And then we come back down the other side of the pyramid. Okay? Yeah? All clear? Okay, lovely. So give me a thumbs up when you're ready. And it's 15 seconds. You're going to go as fast as you can in the space that you have. Okay? Three, two, one, and go. Front right, cross court lift, lovely, Amy. Good, David, in. Good. I would suggest you take this as off, off of your left foot. I think it's easier off the left foot. Not completely, but it, I think, you know, get used to pass. Lovely, Amy, very good. And time. Time, 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 time. Lovely, time, recover. Lovely. So now it's 30 seconds. So still, still going at a pace. Try and use your imagination. Think about where your opponent is. Think about your grip. Think about your racket prep and the shot that you're playing. Two, one, and go. 30 seconds. Boom. Boom. Make it nice and fluid. Lovely, David. Good. I think that was off your right leg there, David. Yeah, try it off your left as well for me, my friend. Try it off your, off your left leg as well, David. That's it. Good. I just think you get more. Nice, Amy. Good. That's your right leg, Amy. Good, Gillian. Let the head. The quicker you turn the head, the quicker your feet have to engage. The quicker you turn your head, the quicker the feet have to engage. And time. Lovely. Time. I know it's a bit of a contradiction because I know we've said to you that we want you still in the shot. But when you're doing that cross court shot, the quicker you turn your head, your feet have to go with you. If you don't turn your head, the feet are slow in turning. So the quicker you can you hit the ball and then turn, your feet have to go with you. It engages the foot quicker. We've got 45 seconds. Two, one, go. 45 seconds. A little bit slower. A little bit more thought about the technique. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Clever, Amy. You stalled yourself 15 seconds there. You got yourself 15 seconds extra rest. <laughs> Good. Good. Nice, Gillian. A little bit lower if you can into the into the lunge to the front. Last 15 seconds. Good. Excellent. Hey, you're moving really well. Were we talking about the superb left volley carts? Is that what we were talking about? No, I, I think I think on the volley and time. I think it's I think it's left leg in the front right for me. If on the right hand, I think it's left leg in the, in the in the front right. Personally, I just think you get more range, but it's it's not set in stone. You know, you can do what you like there. On the volley, I was I was always right footed on my backhand volley, but I think it's it's very much a personal thing. It's what you feel comfortable on. I think if you're attacking, Steve, I think you take it on the right foot. If you're defending, you probably take it on the left foot. But that's yeah. You know, that's not setting stone. Right. For this one, it's a minute exercise, but you're doing half the minute what you've just done. And then the second half, you're changing the, the, the diagonal. So you go from front, front left to the opposite volley. OK. And we're going to go in two, one, go. 30 seconds as we were. So think about the rhythm. Think about your balance. 
This is meant to be nice and rhythmical, not after your heart rate going up high at all, Amy, nice and steady, nice and relaxed. Lovely, Gillian. Lovely turn of, of the shoulder there, Gillian. Very good. In. <clears throat> You've got 10 more seconds of this position. And then on the halfway line, you turn and we go to the opposite diagonal in five seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Five seconds, two, one, and switch the diagonal. Switch the diagonal now. Excellent. This should be easier for you guys. Right handers should be easier to lift out. 20 seconds to go. Superb. Nice, David. Looking like pros, guys. Looking like pros. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Lovely. Two, one, and bingo. Well done. Lovely. Nice, guys. We've got a 45, a 30, and a 15 to do of the same exercise, okay? So front left to the right hand volley. I find it almost impossible to play a cross court from the front on my left foot. This was was always my right foot but again you know if you if you feel more comfortable try it I, I just feel like I just get natural movement back to the tee looking for the volley if I if I go in on my right leg but that's that's very personal to, to me so you know experiment and try try the left foot try the right foot and, and see which one you you think is more comfortable more more efficient for you more fluid more rhythm we're going to go in 15 seconds guys give me a nice minute rest there Yes. Oh, is it switching sides now? If I did the, on the right hand side, I need to go to the left or the same? It's the left hand side now. Left hand side. Left left hand to to the volley. What you've just finished with. Two, one, go. Forty five seconds. Lovely, Gillian. Lovely. Getting really into that shot, uh, David. Really nice into the shot. Looks really good. Lovely lift with the arm, Amy. Don't forget you've got two arms, everyone. Use your non-hitting arm to point to the ball. Use your non-hitting arm to point to the ball. Nice. Reach for it out the sky. You've got 15 seconds of this 45 to go. Again, it's not about getting the heart rate up too much. It's just about being rhythmical. Two, one, and go. Done. Lovely. Very good. So now you've got a 30 and a 15. If you can, in the space that you've got, you're going to try and bring in some of Steve's footwork there. You're just going to pick the footwork up just a little bit. Forget, yeah. forget about the technique and think a little bit more about the speed of, of, of in and out. Okay. And we're going to go in two, one, Go. 30 seconds. Nice, Amy. 15 <laughs> seconds to go. Nice, Gillian. Five seconds. Two. One and time. Well done. And then the last little burst of 15 seconds. Right. So if you can imagine, David, we're on a squash court, you know, now we'd be really flying and they get just really quick and obviously very difficult in, 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 in the uh, in the living rooms that you're in, lounges or wherever you may be. Okay, 15 seconds. Two, one, go. 15 seconds as fast as you can. And time. Lovely. Well, well done. Nice. Well done, everyone. Superb. Have a drink. Take yourselves off of mute and just have a little chat while you're recovering. I hate not being able to hear you. I know you might not want to. You might not want us to hear you panting and breathing and all over your lounge, but it's, it's nice to see you and hear you. How's that, David? Yeah, it's good. It's good to get the yeah. rhythm. Yeah. And if you can, you know, take this away with you, you know, you know, think about this when you're on a squash court, you know, it could be 15 seconds where you're just, you're just, just getting the ball back. 
you're falling all over the place, you know, and then and then the rally starts to get under control again. And that's your ability that, you know, the technique you have then is when you're feeling bombarded, and sometimes you can't do anything about that. You just have to take it. But when yeah. you're being bombarded, that's where you go, right, you know what? I'm going to lift the ball high on the front wall. I don't care how tight it is. It's just going to go up. And while the ball's going up, you're just getting that little moment, you know, little moment of time, maybe to get your breathing regulated again. Because it's, you know, we know this game is so brutal. When, when somebody pings you around the court, you know, every, everything goes wrong, you know, mm -hmm. just buying yourself a little bit of time. So I like the pyramid way of training. Yeah. Um, everyone sort of recovered? Are we ready for, for Steve's first first block? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's the same process, 15, 30, and so forth. So what we're doing, we've got two exercises again yet. So the first exercise, exercise one is going to be for on the way up, 15, 30, 45, and the first half of the 60. Second half of the 60 is going to be exercise two and then down the other side. So the first exercise, we're going to do one star jump and then one explosive star jump. Now, with this one, you have the option to maybe do three or four or, or five star jumps and then an explosive if it's too intense. Um, otherwise, we're going for one star jump followed by straight away an explosive star jump, which looks like this. So um, there's your normal star jump. There's your explosive. There's your normal, there's your explosive. One normal, one explosive, one normal, one explosive. So that's quite tough um, on the way up. If it gets, if you feel like your, your heart rate's peaking a bit too much or the movement is too explosive, um, just replace it with those kind of more gentle star jumps as you go through. Okay, so that's exercise. Particularly when you get up to the 45 second bit, eh, Steve? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Um, yeah. The... Uh, the second exercise uh, is a normal burpee, okay? So a normal uh, burpee or a, um, a burpee, hands down, jump up and above, okay? Here, here, here. And I'll give the other option of um, when that one gets, perhaps that might get to a point where you just need to stop, but, or if that's a bit too explosive, um, then we can do a step burpee instead of stopping, or if it's a bit too explosive, step burpee is where we, hands on the floor, step back, step back, step forward, step forwards, reach above the head, okay? So instead of stopping completely, drop into that one if it gets a bit, a bit too much. Okay, guys, any questions about those two exercises? Uh, do um, you be alternating them or? No, so no. Um, on the way up, we're doing exercise one. All right. Is, I'm doing one explosive, and then on the way down, it's the burpees. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get the clock going. So the first exercise is that star jump and explosive star jump in three, two, one. Let's go. Fifteen seconds. Well done. Nice, well done, Julian. Julian. Well done, David. Well done, Amy. Very good. And rest there. Stop there. Good. A warm up. Next one is 30 seconds. Same exercise. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Myself. Halfway. <laughs> well now it's it's quite a disruptive movement doing one star jump then yeah. one explosive. It's quite <laughs> tricky to, to, to keep in the rhythm. I'll get the heart Three, rate up, Amy. Hey, two, one, and rest, guys. Stop there. Well done. Oh, should I do faster? I'm am I too being too soft with myself? No, you're going fine. Okay. Really good. It's quite funny when I've got a little bit of time lag sometimes, and sometimes, David, you haven't done it, and then suddenly you do about five really, really quick, and then it, then it catches back up again. So it's like absolutely flying. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, get ready for the 45 seconds. Same exercise in three, 
two, one, let's go. Good, Amy, yeah. Really nice, Jillian. Great. Tough one. Halfway, guys. Good, almost there. Two, one, and relax. Well done, have a rest. Good, so that's the hardest part of that one. So the next bit after the rest, we've got 30 seconds of the star jump, explosive star jump, then into 30 seconds of the burpees. Okay, back to back, no rest in between. Okay, that's our 60 seconds. Good. Have a 20 seconds rest. All right. Okay, get yourselves ready. <clears throat> In three, two, one, let's go. Good. Really good. Last 10 seconds of these. Really good. Three, two, one, into your burpees. Let's go. What is it? Jump and then. Burpees, yeah. yeah. Hands, hands on the floor, jump your feet back, jump them forwards, and then you jump up. That's it. Perfect. Nice. Good. Stop there. Well done, guys. <sighs> really good. Have some. Have a bit of rest. Good. All right. Okay. So we're on 45 seconds of burpees next, but have a nice rest here, guys. Well done. That's tough. Do you go over there, Steve? No, it's pretty. It was, it was dead on there. Long, a long minute. Yeah, okay, I'll get the time going. <laughs> okay, really good, guys. Have another fifteen seconds, then we'll get going with our forty-five seconds. The jumper's coming off. David means business. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys. 45 tough. seconds. This is the toughest part of the session, guys. It is. It is. Uh, you're doing really well. Three. Good question. Is it better to do slow and jump or just do the time and walk? Uh, it's a good question. It's up to you. Okay. Two, one, go. I would try and do as many jump jumps fast and then do the step one. Yeah. Very good, David. Yeah, it's good pace, Amy. Well done. Well done, Julian. It's the toughest when one you're of the lot. When you're really gasping for breath, then go into some steps. Halfway. <laughs> well, a good session to sh share with you, Steve, as well, for a one-to-one. -one. I'll take a picture of it. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Thank you. Five seconds, guys. Really good. See if you can get the last one. 
and rest. Well done, Amy. Good. Well done, Julian. Well done, David. Fantastic. Just a 30 and a 15 left. This is, this is the hardest part, and it is really... It's, it's, yeah, I did it myself, and it's, it's, it's not pleasant, but it's, a killer. It's, it's very good. Very good for the fitness. Um, movement is next. Okay, guys. 15 seconds and then we'll do our 30. Give you a little bit more recovery. All right, let's do it. 30 seconds in three, two, one, go. Can't do it anymore. <laughs> okay. Really go on, good. Amy. Go on, Amy. A couple Amy, of Do that two at a time. Okay. Well done, David. Super, nice. matey. Go on, Gillian. 10 seconds. Two, one, and rest. Well done. Well done. Last little 15 seconds. Another 10 seconds and we'll do our, our last 15. And then you can have a decent rest before the movement. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there, everyone. Really well done. That is, that's the toughest circuit. Very that's tough, the toughest yeah. pyramid. Yeah. Um, the others are a bit more focused on technique. Fantastic. I think Steve made a good point the other night to the group that if we were doing this on court, you probably wouldn't do quite as much in terms of the physical exercise and the ghosting would be the part that really takes your breath away. But obviously we're, we're in limited space. So the ghosting is a little bit more rhythmical, a little bit more technical and the physical stuff is a little bit longer. That Yeah. So it, we're sort of getting the sort of switching it around a little bit because of the confined space. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so your, your next two movement patterns. So you know the you know the drill. We're going up to the, uh, the minute and the, on the minutes, half of one and half of the other. The first one, two, three, four parts of it are back right. So getting behind the ball in the back right, coming through the tee and playing a volley on the on the uh, service box on the left hand side. So back right. I don't know whether Steve can show us back right coming through with the racket looking for the volley. You might want to spot you, Steve. <clears throat> Lovely. Thank you, buddy. All right. So I'm, I'm back right here. It's getting low. Behind yeah. the ball, yeah? Yeah. Trying to get behind the ball if you can, and then out with the volley and up with uh, Yasset. Lovely. So good. So you, when you're in that back corner, can you get yourself a little bit, uh, your feet just a little bit closer together so you're squaring off a bit, Steve? Yeah, so you've got options. So you're playing a cross court from that back corner, guys. So it's a lift out, cross court, up for the volley, cross court volley. And it's so the racket's leading you. Like we've done it the other way, but really think about, yeah, that's it, Steve, lovely. So the racket's leading you through the shot, leading, yeah. Is that clear, everyone? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we said last week, didn't we, David, don't drop the elbow, keep the elbow up, okay? So it's back right. Cross for the volley for 15 seconds, and we're going to go in five seconds' time. Two, one, and go. Lovely. So you want them, options in the back corner. Don't lunge into the, That's it, David. Lovely. Really good, mate. You can get options of shot and time. Sorry, run over there. Got carried away. Sorry, sorry. Doing a Steve Thompson. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Steve, that was really good. That was really good in the back corner, David. You've got yourself very low. I don't want you lunging into the corner, Amy. I want you to get your toes 
pointing to the side wall, yeah? Toes pointing to the side wall, so you've got options. Okay, 30 seconds in three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds. Beautiful, David. Keep the elbow up. Lovely, Gillian. Keep the elbow up. Can you come a little bit further forward, Gillian? You've got quite a long bit of space there. You could come a little bit, looks like you could come make that diagonal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, good. Halfway. Good. Excellent, David. Like this? Yeah, that's it. And tight. That's it. That's it, Gillian. Yeah. And time. Good. Yeah, it looked like your room's quite long. You could you could make make the, the, the make the movement a little bit longer. That's all I was seeing. I don't know whether I've got that right or not. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we've got 40, 45 seconds to this one, guys. We're gonna go in uh, 10 seconds time. And it's 45 seconds. Two, one, and go. 45 seconds. So you heard me say it the other week, in the back corners, I call it the sitting on the toilet shot. So you're sitting, you're almost sitting, sitting in the shot and you get the racket face open and you've got options of shot. The lower you can get, the more you put through the thighs, the quads, the glutes, the more options you've got of shot. Excellent, David. Really good, buddy. Lovely rhythm. Nice, Amy. And we've got 15 seconds to go of this 45. Good. Try and use the movement to come out of the shot there, Amy. And time. Lovely. I know the theory. I'm not sure I'm doing it. I, like I said the other week, when we when we when we've got the court, we get all of you and we we we'll get an hour at, at, at Coolhurst or a club, and we'll go through all these with you and just get so you know exactly what you're doing on the squash court. Okay, it's hard. It's very hard to get the depth perception in your lounges. I appreciate that. But when we get one, we get one session on court. We can walk through it all. You can write them all down, and then you've got a training program to go away and work with. Right, you've got thirty seconds of that diagonal, and then the second thirty seconds we switch to go to the back left coming through for the volley, okay? And we're gonna go in five seconds time. So up for a minute now. Two, one, and go. Since you're bringing your elbows up, Paul, which is a new thing for me. Yes. You, you use your wrist more than to lift it over. Yes, bit of wrist involved, yeah but keeping the arm, you know, really fluent and keep going. Sorry, guys, keep going. It, I, I just don't want you dropping and raising the racket. Okay, switch for the last 30 seconds on the other diagonal. The reason for keeping the elbow up, Gillian, it just stops the racket from dropping and raising all the time. It should help with the movement a wee bit. Should do. 15 seconds. Five, two, one, and lovely. Well done. Hard for our depth perception as well because it's from very difficult. Yeah, Amy's camera is low. We we're yeah. in the bottom left corner of Amy's court, yeah. squash court, and it's yeah. at an angled up quite high, I think. So when we, so I think her her volley is quite low, but it's actually probably quite high. High, yeah. <laughs> I need difficult. to just be on court, like Paul said. Yeah, I. Uh, I think maybe the others have a natural rhythm. I have no rhythm on court. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> For sure, with Gillian. <laughs> right, we've got a forty-five second one to do with that one, guys. In five seconds. Two, one, and go. You should be the other side now, Amy. It should be the, it should be back right. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Are you going as low down? A volley. As yeah, as low as you can, Gillian in the back corner. Up for the volley, Amy, up for the volley. That's it, you got it, good. So the racket's bringing you out, Gillian. I know you're limited in space, but the racket, that's it. The one arm movement and it, and it engages the step. 
do you know what I've done? I forgot where I started the watch. We're going to go for another five seconds. <laughs> Sorry. We've got the 30 next, haven't we? Yeah, definitely Steve, kept copying Steve here. Two, <laughs> one, and time. Well done, everyone. Sorry. Got carried away. Can't multitask, can't answer questions and time and watch. You got a 30 and a 15 to do. do you, you, everyone's un understanding the concept of this racket bringing you back, aren't you? you, you you're working with it. I mean, that's that's been... I mean, that's been massive shift for me watching you do this over the weeks. It's, whether you feel you got faster or, or better or whatever, you are actually using the racket. And and that's not always going to be the case when you play. You know, you're just going to fend the ball off and you've got to get the racket up. But when you've got time to really think about the rhythm, the racket will really help you flow across the court. And I know at some point before we finish, not tonight, but in the future, we'll show you a couple of clips of some pros doing that. Right, we've got 30 seconds. Two, one, and go. Gave you a long rest there, didn't I? That's lovely, David. Stay okay. in the shot. Good man. Beautiful. Lovely, Amy. Yeah, just stay in the shot as you hit and out now, Amy. Lovely. Watch the ball, Gillian. Watch it. Good. Lovely use of your left arm, Gillian. Lovely use of your left arm there. Boom. Tennis serve. Boom. Tennis serve. Boom. Five seconds. Three Two, one, and time. Well done. Blind him. Lovely. You got one 15 yeah. second one of these to do. Then you got a Steve Thompson circuit and a bit of mobility. Five seconds. Two, one, and go. 15 seconds. Pull me neck this week, Steve. Yawning in bed. <laughs> really? Yeah, yawning. <laughs> I I did the same thing. Three, picking up a two, one, and time. Well done, everyone. Lovely. Have a drink. Have a breather. My daughter doesn't have have a dummy, but her baby has a dummy, and yeah. I was picking up. She chucked it down the back of the sofa, yeah. and I was yeah. I was leaning awkwardly and really stretching. I really didn't want to move the sofa. Yeah. So yeah. And then yeah. my neck was was done for ages. Yeah, yeah. Like days. <laughs> I've been I've been I've been at an angle I've been at an angle since Sunday. <laughs> that's, that's what it was. That's what it was. My 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 head was here, but my arm was like really yeah. down just, just yeah, to try to get it. The things you do. <laughs> the things you do. Okay, guys. So the next um, pyramid is a little bit harder than the first one. No, it's not. Uh, the next one. Uh, we've got a, a lower body exercise to start with um, and then an upper body and core exercise, which is second. Uh, and I'll show you those now. I'll just spotlight myself. Okay, so the first one, um, what we're going to do, we're going for a... Um, we're going for a, a forward lunge, starting with a knee raise. Oh, yeah. Going down into the lunge, finishing it up. And then a lateral lunge, finishing up. Forwards lunge with the knee raise. Lateral lunge with the knee raise. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to alternate legs as we change sets. We're not going to mix up legs mid-set. So the first 15 seconds, I want you to do right leg. Then 30 will be on the left, 45 on the right. And then the 30 at the top of the pyramid will be on the left. Yeah. Okay. And then when we go down the pyramid, what we've got is a, an exercise called plank punches, which you have three options on this one, depending on how difficult you're finding it at the time. So plank punches, you're going to start in a plank position. And what we're doing is re taking one arm off and punching. My bum, my bum's not really high. Okay. And I'm also trying not to, sway too far from one side so i'm trying to stay uh, nice, nice and straight okay so that's one that's the harder version a straight plank just holding by itself is the next option or on the knees punching is the third yeah. option and as you start to get a bit more tired and perhaps the first or second option is not quite possible okay it's up to you so first exercise is that forward lunge and then the lateral lunge. Starting with the right leg. And we're going to the left for the 30 second 
set. And then we've got the plank punches on the way down. Any questions on those ones? No. No? no. Cool. All right. Let's get the timer. Uh, everyone in position, standing, ready for your lunges. Right leg, please. Um, with a knee raise. Three, 15 seconds. Two, one, let's go. So it's a forward lunge, then a lateral lunge. So this one's focused on technique. So really get that knee all the way down there, David. And then when we're lunging to the side, let's for this one, let's keep that leg that's you're standing on the left leg straight and rest there, stop there, stop there. Um, so when we're lunging, I'll show you one more time, a couple of variations that you guys are doing. Sometimes I appreciate when in a, in a, in a squash movement, if we lunge to the side, either we turn, or actually we will lunge here and, and we might bend or we might twist or this is not that, okay? Just for now, we're gonna keep this leg straight and raise, okay? So for the lateral lunges, let's keep this leg straight and lunge down into it, staying nice and upright, shoulders back, looking straight ahead. So now we're going left leg in three for 30 seconds, two, one, let's go. Left leg forwards, then to the side. Nice, David. No, no, I mean, good. Toes facing the camera when lunging to the side. Nice, Amy. Good. Upper body facing the camera still, Amy. Try not to turn to the side. That's it. That's good. Nice, Gillian. Good, Gillian. Two. Pretty good. One, and rest. Great. Fantastic. So, 45 seconds set on the right leg. In, uh, in 20 seconds. Good, so think about all those things that we throw into thinking about that lunge. So heel toe placement, certainly for the forward lunge, for the lateral lunge, it's not gonna be possible. The forward lunge, I'm mainly talking about here, dropping that, dropping the knee down, trying to find that 90 degree angle, trying to stay nice and stable laterally, forwards and backwards, not leaning forwards. Okay. Um, all right, that's plenty of time. So reset, so we're going right leg, 45 seconds, two, one, let's go. So at the moment, when you're lunging to the side there, David, you're actually leaning over to your left as a kind of counterbalance. So try and stay, that's it, super upright, very good. That's nice. Good, Amy. From this angle, it looks like you're leaning forward just a touch when you're coming forwards. Okay. Good, two, one, and rest. Okay, so now we're gonna go left leg 30 seconds and then 30 seconds plank punches. No rest in between. Well done, guys. How are the legs doing? Mark, how are your legs feeling? Mark? Sorry, David, who's Mark? <laughs> who's Mark? I was feeling a little jealous, but not too bad. Cool. <laughs> Mark, I haven't even spoken to a Mark today. Where did that come from? <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Let's do it. So what are we doing? Right, left, right, left, left leg, 30 seconds, plank punches in three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Lift that knee nice and high, Amy. Balancing in between. Knee comes up in between each lunge. Sorry? My left knee cartilage is damaged. Oh, okay. No, sorry about that. No, no, it's okay. No I, I, yeah, it's hard on the left. Good, Gillian. Heel toe, very nice. Two, one, and plank punches. Rest first, right? Plank punches. No, right straight into your plank. Yeah, straight in, yeah. It's your minute, isn't it? Flippage. Last 10 seconds. Three, 
two, one, and rest. Well done. Really nice. So if you're on a hard floor, that, the, the, that plank punches is quite tough because you're constantly kind of replacing the elbow. Um, so fine if you want to hold that straight plank instead. Okay, guys, get yourselves ready for the next one. So we're going to go plank punches in 10 seconds. Okay, three, two, one, 45 seconds. Nice, Julian. Hold well on, David. Good, Amy. Can you see me? <laughs> Halfway. I can see the top of your back. Enough to, to see that you're doing something. <laughs> <laughs> not sure. You're not lying on the floor, at least. <laughs> Last five seconds, guys. Really good. And rest. Great. 30 seconds and a 15 to finish. It's a sweat that makes the... The, the sweat that makes what, sorry? The, the punch is hard because of the sweat on my elbow. Ah. It's making the floor wet. I already got a mat. I'm too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Looking after myself. What okay. club are you at? What club are you at, Amy? I forgot what club you're at. Uh, Blackie. Oh, Blackie. I, play for, I play for Middlesex. I play for uh, yep. Paddy. You know Paddy's the... Yeah. Yep. The middle one. I forgot the name. God. It's been two years now. Uh, <sighs> okay, we're going to go 30 seconds, guys. Plank punches. In three, two, one. That's a much better angle, Amy. Go. Good. Is that a punch, Amy? I don't know, is it? Looks like a, <laughs> a wrist or a push. Yeah, it looks like more of a... How do you punch? I don't remember. Fist. With a fist. <laughs> Two, one, and rest. Oh, oh I don't like... <laughs> <laughs> well done 15 seconds left how do you punch when you actually when the elbow is uh, stuck on the floor would you like another demonstration for our last 15 seconds uh, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right. here it comes make sure you're watching it Amy you ready all right so, we're in our plank position here. This is what you were doing. Yeah. And this is what we want. Okay. Okay. I think I right, got 15, it. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. I'll, I'll, I'll go a little bit longer than 15, Steve, because I think you had a long rest there, didn't I? No. I did. <laughs> That's it. Clench your fists. Uh, clench your. Yeah, there, everyone. <laughs> well done. Blinding. Good guys. Nice. All right. So we'll just finish with a few uh, little mobility exercises. We won't have too much rest in between. We've just got a few minutes left. But that was really good, guys. Um, 
how, how where did that sit in terms of the the, the physicality of uh, the sessions we've done before was that one of the harder ones yeah so uh, the pyramid the first pyramid was hard i always i always find plant stuff really hard to do okay Any yeah upper body stuff i find hard to do <laughs> yeah what about you david yeah the, the 45 seconds was hard it's felt like uh, you know one or two minutes but the 15 seconds is relatively easy so i suppose you do start off with warm up and then get into the um the 45 seconds yeah but i suppose it should, should go faster in the 15 seconds ones yeah right? I, I mean if, if you if you've got space outside and, and you're keen at the weekend you know I, I would think about getting like marking out a court length of a court and do a pyramid like that, 15, 30, 40, yeah. five minute, you know, of court sprints. That, that, you know, that, re, you know, six strides will give you a court sprint approximately. It doesn't have to be exact. Now, I've been doing a lot of that with uh, some of my army guys. They've been in car parks and different places and we've marked out court. So the pyramid of court sprints, 15, 30, all the way up, all the way back down again, is, is quite a nice little workout. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, guys. So let's do a couple of mobility exercises. So um, one that I like to do to finish is, is lying on the floor. Uh, so kind of some back rolls really to stretch out the muscles in the back. So grabbing the knees, rolling back, rolling out the muscles in the back. So we're gonna go at an angle in a second and do some thoracic rotations. Just a bit of a roll there. And then from that position, we're gonna get the knees up and then we're going to slow arms out to the sides of the floor just slowly take them from one side down to the other and depending on your range of movement we can drop the knees all the way down to one side whilst maintaining that that arm in contact with the floor yeah one side over to the other getting a few back clicks which is always nice this is back massage. Yeah. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a bit of myofascial release, self-massage. Even better if you have a foam roller that you can roll out muscles with. Okay, so we'll go from there, guys, into a bit of a, um, a downward dog stretch. So we're going to be focusing a bit more on the stretching out of the abs and the relaxation of the back here. So press-up position, I'll show you side on first, or front on first. So we're in that press-up position, but dropping the hips down and reaching the head up. We'll stretch the abs out here. And then we're gonna raise your bow up nice and high, tuck the head in between your shoulders. And that's a nice stretch out for the shoulders. Uh, but also if you try and aim to, to push your heels into the floor, you get a nice stretch for the calves as well. So side on, what I'm, I'm doing here, my, the, my, my hips aren't on the floor, they're close to the floor. Okay, so I'm kind of stretching out the abs and relaxing the, the back there. It's also quite physical in the upper body, especially if you've just done an hour of exercise. The other one that you do from that position, Steve, was nice, was just the hip flexor one, wasn't it? The on the yeah, one knee. Yeah, yeah, let's do that one. Let's do that one to finish. Yeah. So in a lunge position, guys, so one foot, one knee on the floor, one foot forwards. What we're going to do is lean forwards. Put your weight on your right leg, um, if your right leg's forwards, and stay nice and upright. So that stretches out the hip flexors at the front left of the thigh. Exercise, sorry, a stretch. It's often ignored, really. People kind mm. of do your, your hamstrings and your quads and calves, and that's about it. But like hip flexors. Yeah, hip flexors, sometimes the glutes um, don't get much much time. So, and then change. So the time you want to be holding these stretches for, I personally would say minimum 20 seconds. Um, the, the, the books would say six to 12 minimum, um, but to increase flexibility, you need to hold for a bit longer than that, really. Good guys. And again, this is a nice opportunity to work on your breathing as well. Um, lots of deep breaths in through your nose, out through the mouth. 
uh, from this position, in, interesting, it's a great um, position to then just put your heel on the floor and then stretch out the hamstrings. Um, I'm, my hamstrings need stretching out after today. Uh, but then you can do that at, ang at three angles as well, where you take your toe out to the side, center, and on the inside. Yeah. A slightly different stretch. That made a difference um, to me when you told me that. <laughs> yeah, but also at the same time, you use your other hand. When you've got either in this position or my preference is to, to raise, put it up on a surface. So use your other hand if you're quite sore to kind of self-massage the muscles as you're doing it. It kind of puts a bit more pressure through each strand of the hamstrings. It's a group of muscles um, as you're stretching. Um, you can kind of focus on particularly sore areas kind of by kind of manually manipulating them there. Um, well done, guys. Thank you. And that's it, for, that's it for today. We will see you guys next week. See you. Thanks, guys. Take care, everyone. All the best. Have a good Bye. week. Thank you. See you guys.